So I'd like to preface the question with, I think, so blockchain and decentralized ledger, I think it's fairly intuitive use for cryptocurrency. But there's a lot of hype of using blockchain for other applications. And I'm particularly interested in supply chain, and particularly food supply chain, um, where there's a lot of hype in that area for using mm -hmm. blockchain. But I, I think the biggest problem in sort of food supply chain, particularly ag supply chain, is falsification of input. Yes. Not necessarily attacks on the ledger. So is blockchain really the right use in that scenario? Um, the fundamental problem that you're facing, which is common to many other let's call them adjacent problems, is, is the issue of custodial control over the primary asset if that primary asset is not held on chain. The advantage of something like a native or intrinsic asset like Bitcoin is that all ownership is settled through one way only, and that is the on-chain transaction. If you have something that instead corresponds to a certificate of gold, or access to a car, or a real estate record, or the providence of food, then you now have an intermediary, and that intermediary is the custodian of the actual asset that you're representing with a token. And now that introduces counterparty risk. The counterparty risk in the example you gave is falsification of information, so integrity controls. But in other cases, it's the hypothecation, the basically um, selling the same asset to multiple buyers and pretending there's more bars in your warehouse than there actually are. And this is not a small problem. You know, in, in the uh, gold markets, this is a recurring theme of the last 30 years of uh, gold certificates, where you, know, you have the certificates, and somebody is supposedly holding the gold, but then when you try to redeem it, you find out that actually two people are holding the same piece of gold, or the warehouse is empty. Um, that counterparty risk is the whole reason why blockchains are interesting, because we can remove it for intrinsic native assets to the blockchain, uh, which also means trying to solve problems where what you're tracking is ownership of assets that are not intrinsic to the blockchain is not an easy problem. Uh, and to solve it with a blockchain, if you eventually end up having counterparty risk anyway, and you didn't achieve this intermediation, maybe that just wasted your time. Um, you know, so the being able to record securely and immutably records in a database if you can't ensure that those records correspond to reality in the world, uh, isn't very useful as a solution space. Um, and that's why I'm skeptical of a lot of these projects. That doesn't mean they won't happen, um, but that means that they can't easily happen today. Um, I'll give you one example, which I think is really interesting and illustrates this problem. Um, there's a logistics supply company that does. Um, Sensors, environmental sensors that are embedded into, say, pharmaceutical products that have to remain below a certain temperature throughout the supply chain. So you ship this thing, and if it goes above zero Celsius, it's it's broken, right? It's trash. You have to throw it away at any moment in time. If it goes above that temperature, even for a second, it's done. So what happens if you have a truck that's refrigerated and you want to track? whether all of the things in the truck are actually kept to the correct temperature. Great, so you put a tamper-proof sensor on every pallet. And, and this is how technologists think. They think, okay, how do we solve this? Um, Internet of Things, machine learning, big data, blockchain. Meanwhile, this is how the truck driver sees it. My truck broke down. Fuck those sensors. I'm going to lose my job. I go and buy a bag of ice from the gas station, and I put an ice cube on every sensor. The sensors all stayed below zero Celsius. All the stuff inside is rotten, but the sensors, they're great. How do you solve that? Not with a blockchain, right? So some problems do not have technical solutions. And if you think like a security person, you quickly realize that the more you try to apply technical solutions, the more easily those can be gained by human ingenuity. Um, and supply chain is one of those examples.